Hello, that's Alana Tucky again. This time we're going to go through how to work with my math lab a little bit. So I'm in my course. I click on do homework and over here the homework is opened up. Now to be honest with you, what I'm about to show you works for the quizzes and tests and it also works for the study plan. They all kind of work the same way. So let me click on a section. Let me click on section 1-2. And you can see there are 10 problems assigned for 1, 2. Now different instructors will have different numbers of problems, different courses have different number of problems. So all the ones with the little green mark by them, that means that when I get to those problems there are actually videos available to help me with those problems. So let me click on the first one. And now I'm really getting into my math lab. See how it says my math lab up here? And you can see I'm in section 1, 2 there are 10 problems for me to do. Now the first thing it wants me to do is graph the equation by plotting points, negative 2x, y equals negative 2x. So I can use the graphing tool on the right over here and I like this that you can click to enlarge the graph. and You can make it normal size, medium size, and you can maximize it and make it bigger. Whatever you like. If you're going to do a line I'm going to make it medium size so you can see. I want to graph a line. A line is this little feature right here, so I want to click on the line tool. If you're doing a parabola, you click on the parabola tool or whatever. So I'm going to click on the line tool, and it's going to ask you to plot points on the line. So I'm going to plot the point zero, zero. So I click, double click on that. Now I'm going to move, well the slope is negative two, so down two, oops, look at the index. This, see how much the tick mark's worth? If this is worth 4, then this is worth 2. So if you go down to right 1, double click, there's a dot. Right, then I can click Save. And then I can click Check Answer. And it'll tell me I got it right. Woohoo! Okay. There's number 1. I've got a little check mark by it. I've got credit for it now. So now I can click on number 2 graph the equation 2y minus 4x equals 8. So let's do it wrong just to show you how it works. I'm just going to graph a couple points. Oh, look, you can single click. There you go. Save. There it is. Oh, bummer. I didn't get it right. Darn. Well, you can do it again. It'll let you retry three times. I'm going to get it wrong on purpose here just to show you. Check answer, check answer. No, I didn't get it right. This was my answer and this is the correct answer. Done. So let me try three times and then it gives me a little red mark up here. That's okay. I can click similar exercise. It'll give me a new problem and I'll be able to get this one right. So I can click the tool. You can do it right in here if, as long as your eyesight's good enough. <laughs> so let's see. I think it's going to have this and it's going to have a slope of, oh, I don't know, something like that. I'm just making it up. Check answer. No, bummer. Right. But that's how you work it. Now number three, I'm going to skip it. It's going to ask you, yes, you want to skip? Yeah, I want to skip. I don't feel like dealing with that problem right now. Or I don't feel like dealing with that one right now. And so on. Right. So you can hop along from problem to problem. Oh, this is going to be good. Let's see here. Great. See? You can hop so now it can ask you, solve this for B. I want to show you how this works. So over here, you can click, that's the fraction button. There's a power button in here. There's a square root button in here. So if I want to solve this, it's A minus 7C over 6. Just trust me. Then I click Enter. You don't even have to click Check Answer. You can just press Enter and it'll tell you whether you did it right or wrong. You can press enter again and it's correct. So I wanted to show you that's this palette. It's available for some problems. See? Right here. You can click on the fraction if you need to, the mixed number if you need to, square roots. You can make powers if you need to. So let's say I wanted to answer th three squared. Right, That's the power button right there. Very handy. All right, that's the end of this tutorial. Next time I'm going to show you all these little help features over here on the right.